Hello and welcome to a benchmark for Mad Max using a single GTX 980 and I am happy to report that performance is very 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 satisfying. As you can see um, I'm using a single card and the frame rate is averaging over 120 frames per second. It does dip down to sometimes by 112 and it does peak at around 150 when you go inside but for the most part I don't really feel that I need to do an SLI benchmark because it runs great on one card. If any of you guys want to see um, an SLI benchmark then let me know and I will definitely think about doing that. So let's take a look at what I have for settings wise. Uh, no. What am I doing? There you go. Okay, my controller is broken for some reason. Okay, this is an issue that I have with the game. Resolution keeps knocking me down to 50 hertz. My money is 60 hertz, but for some reason it doesn't support that look. So it keeps knocking me down to 50. It's not a problem. But everything else, as you can see, is maxed out. Vsync is turned off. Um, got this all. Of this is max. Forget that preset at the top when you're very high. No, go to custom and max everything out because very high will not put you at its highest. Thing, but this is it and as you can see frame rate is incredibly high incredibly high so I don't need to do an SLI benchmark so what I will do is to have a little drive around hopefully get in and out but well, actually I can probably go inside here just so you can see the difference we can go inside yeah look going inside gets it up to what was that about 160 170 there So let's get back in the car and let's go and try and find some ability to fight against some combat and show you what that's like. But pretty much, as long as you check out the store page and the uh, like the minimum specifications and you meet that, you should be getting some really good performance out of this. Which is it's good to see that WB have actually got some quality control on this after the fiasco that was Batman Arkham Knight. It's such a fucking shame because the game is actually decent if you have a mess around with the INI files. Now. So I'm supposed to go into this stronghold, yeah? And I'm supposed to uh, sneak up and take out that sniper first. I haven't done that, so let's just see how much trouble we can get into and see what the performance is like. Oh, I know how to take him out. I have a harpoon on my car. Yeah, got him. Clear. Okay. Now the gate. Now the gate. I've got to do the same with the gate. Disable flame pipes at gate by finding and destroying their fuel source. Okay, let's have a look. Where is their fuel source? I guess it's that. What weapon do I have? Shotgun. Boom. Why isn't that working? I've got no bullets on my shotgun, really. Okay, that's disappointing. Let me see if I can do it with, with, with this. Just the harpoon it. Never mind. Perimeter defense is eliminated. Let's go and cause some trouble, shall we? I can't drive for beans, as you can see. Get good! Okay, there you go. And let's go cause some trouble. Right low here. 
Finish him, Sadistics 1, Lord Scrotus is proud! Warcryer, when getting close to a Warcryer, he will become alerted. Okay, excellent. We just want to see the performance in combat, really. Let's go some more like Arkham style, very basic Arkham style combat. As you can see, performance doesn't seem to be affected at all. So everything maxed out, and it's just good to see that a game's come out and it doesn't have fucking performance issues on day one. Because games just seem to have been having that all year, and it's, it's just nice to see it. So, that is Mad Max. If you guys want to see more of it, if you want, or you want to see an SLI benchmark, or just let me know what you think in the comments. Always like to hear from you. Other than that, I'm going to continue playing this game. I'm actually enjoying it so far. It's basic and it's very easy, but it's still fun. Have a fun, Miss Crime. See you guys soon.